you did play our garage session, I did. and you got somebody brought you apples. I get I get a lot of strange things. What's the strangest gift? Oh wow! I mean, I haven't given you what I brought you yet. Um. <laughs> I mean, I've gotten. Oh, yeah, Got undergarments that have been sent mm -hmm. to you, you know, and just been like, you know, with little special little messages and those kind of things. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I, I've gotten. What do you do with something things. like that? Do you keep uh, it? Do you, do you have, have a, a drawer? box somewhere, <laughs> or do you just like? Yeah. I get a good little laugh out of it, and I, I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't keep. Because you could know. probably make money like on yeah. eBay or something <laughs> with that. <I> think. Yeah, <laughs> I've got some really cool things. Though. I mean, I mean, I've had people make me scrapbooks. So. That, would, that, that, are, that look like they were so time consuming or they've taken all these quotes of all these people about the music and, and matched it up where I was in certain cities and it just, people have taken a lot of time to do a lot of things. I had a, I had a girl recently make me this uh, surfboard that was uh, out of an old piece of wood and it was like, she did like, a, like a shark bite in the wood, it was like this big piece of art. It was amazing, I wow. can't imagine how much time it took her. And, uh, what, yeah, did she, you just get she, that in the it, mail, or she know, brought she like uh, was stage. waiting on me outside in Chicago, Aww. and was like, I'm, "I love your music. It's changed my life." Um, and I made this for you. And I, I didn't even know what to say because it was I, I knew that it took her some serious time. So, <laughs> but well, yeah, it's in my house. That kind of goes to what I was saying, and I was joking around about the ladies and all that. But it's it's true. Like your fans it's are a passionate. They fan are base. passionate yeah, about you. It's a passionate fan base. So it's you got to imagine it's got to be the music, and, and like you uh, said. You yeah, you know, I, I, sometimes I, I, you know, because if, if, if we're being real right now, um, you know, there was, until this, pretty much this single here, I mean, it was almost like I was absent in radio for almost two years. I just didn't, after Hey Pretty Girl, I didn't have a lot of success at, at, at radio. And, and even during that time, you know, radio gave us such a, we were traveling the same band long before something like a truck ever came out. And we were we were building a following, and then radio gave us a huge platform, and that song popped, and then you know, Pretty Girl came, and it that it, it gave us you know another boost. I'll never forget this. I told the story on stage the other night, but I actually this is just kind of how my, my brain works, and, and imagine surfing is even more than that. So, but but I can remember being a struggling songwriter and working like two jobs and writing and all the days off and all this stuff. And I was a uh, I was really in love with the girl that I was dating. Um, one of the only people, I mean, I, I, I'm not the kind of person that just falls in love with people. Like, it was a serious thing. And um, we dated for like three years, and she was really frustrated with, uh, I think, me always writing my days off and when I got off work, and I was always trying to strive for that. And, and uh, my, my buddy that was supposed to come over and write with me, she was like, you know, I'm, I'm tired of this. You're going to hang out with me today. You're not going to write. Like, so you need to choose right now. Oops. And, um, so, well, we had a good run. I guess that's it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, okay. That's all right. You got it. You know, Point you, taken, Kip. You got, oh, wow. Fine. I don't think he was talking to you, though. I, I feel that gotta, you, personally, though. You'll, you'll give him time to do his thing, right? I don't know. You might have a different kind of mojo you put on me, and I might. Who knows? Oh, no. <laughs> it is happening. You look, I, like, you look like a wild cat. I've so. never been this uncomfortable. I'm a wild cat, too. So. I, I, I need to get out of here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Listen, I'm just, you know what I'm just say that I hadn't met my matching wildcat. We're just going to sign off here and let these two continue. It is uh, 177. Call me a wildcat. I can tell, man. You can see it's my eyes. You know what I mean? I can tell you she's got a wildcat. Backstage, it's back. No, they're going to keep going. Go ahead and cut it off. It's yeah. GNA.